Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to learn how to use index functions in Excel and also we are going to check some index and match combinations uh, instead of the lookup in tables. So let's see. We have prepared again one example, but this one is going to be a bit comprehensive. So we will check the different uses of index. So actually, what does index function do? It brings out it returns a reference uh, according to the constraints we give. So what is the reference? Let's see. Actually, index function do take three parameters. And according to the array or reference we choose, it gives us the number of uh, rows or the columns uh, for that uh, cell, I mean the reference. So for example, in this uh, first example, it asks us to bring the third product in the list. Okay, this is going to be easy because we can see the third product in the list. But if we had a, uh, if we have had a very long list, it will be a bit a headache. So let's choose our array. This is the list of items in our case, and I just go to the second parameter and it asks us the row number. So I know that I'm going to put 3 for this because I want the third product in this list. So I just write 3 here. And third uh, parameter is optional. If we uh, make our region like uh, columns and rows wide, then we can also use this column number to bring the, for example, third and the second uh, item in this region. So for now, I leave it empty and I just click it like this and I know that third product in the list is calendars. Similarly, I will use the index function to find the category of fifth product. So I write my index, choose my series and write five here. Up to now it seems okay. Um, but it will get a bit uh, complicated and we will understand how index is useful in these last two examples. For now, it asks us to find the total cost of 4 and 8 products. Okay, let's write it the easy way. The costs are in the last column. Again, I choose my column and I say 4th product. Then I choose my column again, and this time I say 8 product, and this sums these costs up. Okay, now let's see how index is useful really. So, total stock of first, first 5 products. What are we going to do? Are we going to like write index, the stock quantity, select? The first one, then plus the second one, and so on. No, it will be a, a really bad approach for a program like Excel. So, index can also find a sum or average or something uh, up to a certain degree. So, you it doesn't always return only one uh, result, but we can use it in a sum function. I said that it returns a reference. So, if I write if I, I if I didn't know the index function, how did how would I write it? Like sum the stock of first five products. I will choose it like this. The first five product, and it will bring me a 357. But this is not practical because I may want to change the five number to six to three to ten to hundred. So again I write my sum. And I just select the first as a first reference from G8 to to something to something will be the return of index. So when we select this and we select, for example, let's choose this one five and. When we close sum, it will turn the same 
uh, result. But you see the, from G8 to, to something that index returns us. So if we change this spike to, for example, 3, the sum will change. If it changes from, for example, let's say to 9, it will sum up the first 9 products, as you see. So this can be really useful in some cases. Similarly, I'm going to make the same thing for average. Average discount for first six products. So discount are here. I'm just going to select the first cell only. And the second parameter, I will find with index. So as I said, index is going to return a reference. And I'm going to use that reference in the average function. So 1.2% average discount for the first six products. If I ch change this six to something else, for example, eight, you'll see 2.9. Okay, this is um, this is not a very common common usage of index actually, but uh, it is good to know that index returns us a reference, so we, then, we can use it in uh, some other places. And uh, now let's look at another example uh, to find the uh, 2015 sales and 2016 sales of some products. What we can do is to write VLOOKUP, select our product, then select this and we know that seven column we are going to use. We can write it like this, three ticking. However, index and match function is much more powerful than using VLOOKUP. Uh, because you may remember when we explained the match, uh, we have used match function in VLOOKUP function to decide, determine the column number. Uh, similarly, we are going to use the index uh, instead of VLOOKUP now. So let's write our table, index for our table. I just chose my whole table, it doesn't matter because I'm going to use match to find the correct reference. And I fix it. And as a second parameter, it asks me, okay, which row number you want to bring? I don't know which row number to bring, but I know that I have a product here and I'm going to find it here. So I use a match and I fix it from left. I choose my array for my match and I choose the exact match. Then done. This will return, this match will return some row number. I don't know, five, six, two, according to the product, this product found here. And as a last parameter, I'm going to use another match, this time to find the column number. And this is going to search here and find it exact match. And I am done. I chose the full table. I wrote two match functions to find the row number and column number. And we are good to go now. We can just copy and paste our formulas. Now I don't need to worry about, for example, adding a new, like adding a new row here, because my uh, formula is we will get adapted automatically according to this um, list changes. If I wrote, for example, if I wrote a uh, VLOOKUP, in this case I would have problems because I will, uh, my uh, number of columns would swap over to the right. So this is how index and match works instead of VLOOKUP and this is how uh, power users generally use it. Okay, let's check our results now. And it seems like everything is okay. Thanks for watching. In the next video, we are going to see how to use the meet function in text, um, uh, texts and joining tests in Excel. So keep following.